Now, this inversion has actually been with us for a few days, but it has not yet caused air stagnation issues. So that is positive because it's an upper level high pressure that is doing this, so it's not necessarily a surface high pressure. When we get both, upper level and surface high pressure, those are the big blocking ridges, and that's the one that can cause lots of issues with air stagnation. So far, we're not that bad. 24 degrees, 81 percent for the humidity, but we don't see very much change. And we also do see some of those gray overcast skies a lot during the day, but sometimes some sunshine, like yesterday came through. In addition, now we have some cold temperatures through portions of the Magic Valley, so there's a freezing fog advisory that's there till 11 o'clock this morning. If you're driving that direction, driving out toward eastern Idaho, be aware that that could happen, or just make your plans a little bit later in the day, if possible. In the meantime, from the northwest satellite and radar, we don't see very much because that ridge of high pressure is there, and actually we just have a few clouds, and some of those clouds are being forced down lower into the valleys, and that's where they're getting trapped with some warmer air up above, thus the inversion. Colder in the valley, warmer air above. We don't get much change in the air. We also have this ridge is strengthening a little bit, so it's going to actually spread out and strengthen the inversion. But it still is going to have another system that we expect to come through. This low pressure is going to come out of the Gulf of Alaska and could actually give us a chance of some showers. More likely that we'll see some snow in the mountains, maybe a couple of inches there, Sunday night into Monday. But some of that could be a little rain-snow mix as we go into Monday, so we'll see a little pattern that way, and that could provide a little bit of relief. Forecast for today and the next few days all the way through Friday doesn't so much change because that's as far as the computer model goes for our future cast. Well, the temperatures today also are not going to change very much. Uh, Magic Valley, we're still going to be seeing highs. It'll be just into the 20s. The higher elevations, of course, we'll see those warmer temperatures getting above freezing, like Stanley, up to 35 degrees. Also, for the West Central Mountains, you can really see that, you know, Cascade is slightly lower than McCall, but it's warmer in McCall today, 31 degrees. And, of course, we're still going to be seeing temperatures that'll make it to the 30s for the lower Treasure Valley, but the upper Treasure Valley, that'll be just 31 degrees, while Idaho City at a higher elevation will be 34. Your 7 first alert, 7 day forecast. Well, those temperatures stay right there in the low 30s for a while, but there is a slight change coming, a warming into the weekend and then Sunday night, Monday. That system could actually bring a little rain snow mix and some warmer temperatures.